Hey, Ethan here from Standing Stone, and I've got Gus and his next day in the train retrieve process. Today we're going to start fetch. Now, today in his fetch process, we're going to have to use a little bit of pressure, and I want to make sure that you know that ahead of time. If you don't want to watch this, I'd go ahead and stop now. Otherwise, continue on and we'll show you how this fetch process works. Now, to start off with, there's two different ways to teach this. There are two main ways to teach this. One is going to be an ear pinch and the other is going to be a toe hitch. Now both of them are designed to put mild pressure on the dog that acts as an annoyance. They want to shut off the pressure just like the collar um, and we teach them to comply or learn fetch with this. Now how the ear pinch itself works is just how it sounds. You pinch the dog's ear, um, it feels uncomfortable, they turn to, you know, basically bite at or get the ear pinching to stop. Once they open their mouth, dowel goes in, they close their mouth, and they already know hold, and they start to understand fetch. The other way is a toe hitch. Pinches their two middle toes together. Again, mildly uncomfortable and annoying. He tries to get it to stop by biting at it. Mouth opens up, dowel goes in, he starts to understand fetch. We prefer the method of the toe hitch because when we're pinching his ear, he's actually turning to bite at our hand. We're directly causing his discomfort. With the toe hitch, he's biting at his toes. That's what he's associating it with. So we'll show you how to hook up the toe hitch. We're going to start with a boot string and we make a regular slip knot. Now this slip knot is gonna go up around his foot and above his carpal joints here. Now we wanna cinch this down so that it stays put but not so tight that it cuts off circulation. Then the string's gonna go underneath his toes, around and then back underneath itself. When we pull on this, it's gonna pinch his two middle toes together. Now you can see right now that's not really bothering Gus. He's focused on something over here. I don't really know what exactly it is, but this is obviously not bothering him. We may have to use just a little bit more, um, a little bit more pressure to get his attention, but we'll show you how that starts out now. Are you ready? <laughs> now we're ready to get started here with Gus. Uh, one last thing that I want to show you with this is that I have a, an eyelet set into the table here that allows, when I pull on his toes, it allows a stopping spot. Otherwise, I could just pull him off the table and that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't work very well. But um, as we get started here, I just want to mention, like anything that we do in training, we use the least amount of pressure necessary for that given situation. It's just the same as the collar. We're going to use the lowest level that the dog responds to. So we'll go ahead and get started here. I'm going to put, um, start to tug on this. And as soon as he opens his mouth, then we're going to get, there you go, good. We're going to get the dowel popped in really quick and ask him to hold. Good boy. Okay. We'll start to tug here again. Good boy. You can see he just opens his mouth and I slip that dowel right up in his mouth and ask him to hold. As we continue with this, it's going to move into him understanding dowel in my mouth shuts off the pressure. He'll start to reach for it and grab for it. That begins the fetch um, behavior. Okay. Back up. Back up. Good boy. Now you can also see that, okay, when I have the dowel presented to him, it's down at his level. He feels the pressure at his foot, so I start the dowel at his foot. That's going to make it the easiest transition. We don't want to hold it up here while he's feeling pressure down here. We set it down by his toe, then he can just grab it easier. It's also ready to put in his mouth. There you go. Good boy. We'll start to move it up closer to where his natural eye level will be. Good boy. Okay. Back up. 
a little bit. Tangled. Okay. Good. Now you can see I'm not really pulling that hard. Um, different dogs are going to respond differently. Gus is a very cooperative dog and a very intelligent dog, so he picks things up pretty quickly. Good. Ah, 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 ah. Started tongue it a little bit. That's part of the hold process that we're going to reinforce throughout the entire trained retreat. Okay. Good boy. Good. Now he's starting to show a pretty good understanding, um, even this quickly, that dowel in my mouth shuts off the pressure. Good. Okay. As he gets better with this, we're going to start to add a little variety. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to move it over here. So he's got to reach and start to move for the dowel just a little bit more. Back up. There you go. Good. Very good. Okay. Good. Now he's getting uh, uh, he's getting pretty good at this already. I'm going to start to introduce the cue fetch. Right before he goes to grab it, I'm going to say fetch. That'll start to condition him to understand fetch means grab something, whatever we're asking, whatever we're working with at the time. Okay. All right now it's this dowel. We'll then move into different objects, just like we did with hold. Good. Okay. Every dog is going to be a little bit different with this, but the most important part of the fetch process is once you start, you need to continue to work until you think you have, uh, until the dog understands the concept. Even if it's just still right down here at table level, if he's reaching and grabbing and grabbing and holding on, then we know he's got an idea. We need to make sure that he understands the basic concept of what we started with fetch before we can end this session. Um, it might take 5-10 minutes, it might take 20 minutes, uh, but if we allow the dog to fight and struggle and not understand what's going on, it's going to make it harder come the next session because they didn't learn anything. We just put pressure on them and it's not a good thing. So we need to make sure that he understands fetch, which he's got a pretty good idea here um, that dowel in my mouth shuts off the pressure. Okay. Fetch. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Fetch. Good boy. You see Gus is getting pretty good at this already. We're going to do maybe half a dozen more, and then we'll probably call this a good session for him. We'll pick it up again tomorrow, starting with um, the dowel again, and then moving into different objects. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Good. Okay. Fetch. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah. Always making sure that they're doing a good job holding. Something that has to be reinforced through the whole trained retreat process. Okay. Good. Okay. Fetch. Good boy. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Good boy. Okay, good dog. We're going to go ahead and end this evening with Gus, and we'll get started again tomorrow. <laughs> Check back, and we'll show you <laughs> what he's going to do next.